Today we're going to look at oxidation and reduction reactions and half equations and ionic equations. So, set of questions we're going to go through which was set as part of your homework. Uh, let's go. Question 1. The reaction of sodium and iron chloride to form sodium chloride and iron. This is an example of a displacement reaction. And if we look back at the instructions, the first step is to indicate which element has been oxidised and the one that has been reduced. So going back to basics, let's start off by adding on oxidation states. Sodium is by itself, it's uncombined, therefore it has an oxidation number of zero. Chlorine, which is in group seven, has a negative charge, minus one, which there are two of, which makes it minus two. Iron, which is combined with chlorine, must have an oxidation number of plus two. Going across to our products, we have minus one for chlorine, as it's in group seven. Sodium is in group one and it is now combined, therefore we change that to plus one. And we now have iron, which is uncombined, therefore has an oxidation state of zero. Step two. We need to have a look at what's been oxidized and what has been reduced. From the reactants to the products, the sodium has gone from a zero oxidation state to a plus one. As it's become more positive, we can infer that it has been oxidized. And we know with a plus one charge, it must have lost one electron. Iron has gone from a plus two to zero, which tells us it has been reduced. And we notice, as it has become more negative and has gained two electrons. As for chlorine, if we notice, chlorine is negative one in the reactants and it is still negative one in the products. So we can comfortably say that our spectator ion, the ion which remains unchanged in this reaction, is our Cl minus ion. The spectator ion doesn't change during the reaction, so we can actually remove that from the equation and uh, build up an ionic equation, but more about that in a moment. For the time being, let's construct our half equations. So, we are going to have two half equations to show the reduction reaction and the oxidation reaction. And you can probably see at the top here, sodium, there are two of them, so our first equation will start with 2Na. Two 2Na two looks unassuming here, but it actually forms 2Na positive ones. So let's draw our arrow across, 2Na, and I'm going to add the charge up top, so Na plus 1. Now, we've already identified that an electron is lost. It's actually two electrons because there are two sodiums. So on the right hand side I will add in two electrons, i.e. the sodium ion plus an electron will make sodium. If we look at our second reaction, we start with iron. There is only one iron atom in the reactants, so we'll start with Fe. And the charge is Fe2+. Plus. Again, I'll draw my arrow. Notice I have left a space in case I need to add something. And in the products, we have Fe. This is a reduction reaction in which we are adding electrons to the ion. So, 
on the left hand side I'm going to add in two electrons. Those are my two half equations, two marks in the exam. Notice the electrons are on opposite sides of the equation. You'll often also see the plus two electrons could also be written over here as minus two electrons. It's the same thing and either way will get you the marks in your exam. So we've worked out what's been oxidized, what has been reduced. We've worked out what is a spectator ion and we've also looked at half equations. So the final step is to combine our half equations to form what we call our ionic equation. And this step is actually quite nice. We literally just combine the two half equations together. So we start with 2 Na. We also have Fe2+. The two electrons on the left and the right cancel out. So we don't include those in our ionic equation. And on the right hand side we have 2 Na+. And we have Fe. And that is our overall ionic equation. Start to finish, this will probably be worth between three to five marks in your actual exam.